Welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, we are going to show you how to create a family of parts within Top Solid 7. To do this, we'll start by preparing our part design by naming the parameters that we have to drive. From there, we'll show you how easy it is to create conditional features. And finally, we'll build the family of parts through an Excel-like driven environment. Okay, to get started, the first thing we want to do is we want to name some of the parameters that we're going to drive through our Excel table through our family of parts. So to do this I'm going to show the driving sketch of my extrusion here. And you can see I have two diameters and a extrusion thickness. I'm going to go ahead and set this 10 to be ID for inside diameter. I'll set the 22 here to be OD for outside diameter. And we'll set the 12 value here to be H for height. From there I'm going to hide that and then I'm going to create what's called a boolean parameter. So here we're going to create our boolean parameter. I'm going to call this chamfer. And I'll set it to true for right now. And a boolean parameter can be used to turn on and off features in your design. For example, I'm going to set it to this chamfer. So I'm going to create a condition. Set it to chamfer equals true for now. And just to show you what that actually means, if I go to parameters here in my entities manager and go find chamfer, I can go double click on it to change it, set it to false. And like that, that feature has been deactivated. And we're going to be able to use this through our Excel table to turn on and off features. And again, there's your other driving parameters. So like that, we're going to go ahead and save this. And now, we're going to create a uh, template document uh, for our family. To do that, I'm just going to go ahead and right click here and say I'd like to create a new document. I'm going to choose Family. Hit the OK button. Like that, we'll give it a name. I'll call it Bearing Family. And I'm going to save it once. From here, I'm just going to drag and drop the design file into the family document file. Like that, you can still see the model. And down below, you see what kind of is starting to look like an Excel field. Well, we need to propagate this field with information, right? So to do that, I'm going to go down to my Entities tree and see if my driving parameters came through, and they did. And I'm going to select them in the order that I want to insert them. I could do it one at a time, but I'm just going to hold Control down and say I would like to control the height, then the OD, then the ID, and then the chamfer condition. Drag and drop it in there, and now my fields have been set up. So for example, I'm going to start by calling this one 12 by 22 by 10 with a C on it. And what I'm going to do is set it to be chamfer, turn it on, and now let's say we want to make this one to be 10 by 18 by 8 without a chamfer. Okay? And now what we can do is we can test it. I can say view instance, boom. View instance, boom. Oh, sorry, I didn't change these, so let's say that's 10 by 18 by 8. And let's view instance. There we go. So like that, we have two different codes set up, so we're going to go ahead and save this, and now let's try it out. So I'm going to go ahead and close that document, I'm going to close my template document, and I'm going to go ahead and create, oh, we'll do it right here, a new assembly file. And in this assembly file, I'm going to insert my Conrad part. And let's go see about inserting one of these family parts now. So I'm going to go here to my family of parts, and there's two ways to do it. One is I can go in here oh, gotta check it in first, sorry. I can go in here and just drag and drop the bearing family out here. So let's start with that. When I drag, it, drag and drop it out here, it wants to know which code I want to run first. So I can choose either or. So I'll choose that one first, why not? I can give it its own unique name, we'll call it Big Bearing, why not? And now, just assemble it into my design. Like that, I'm finished. Now another way to do this is to just expand the bearings here, and now you can see the two different versions. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this one, drag and drop it out here. This is the one that's a little bit smaller, without the chamfer, and you can see that one fits in there just right. Now, let's say that we chose the wrong bearing down here. How do you change it? You can simply right-click, go to Code, 
up pops this little balloon. Of course, you can modify it in the dialog, but you can just double click on the balloon out here if you want and change it dynamically. Say OK, and now your design is up to date. So that's how easy it is to work with family of parts within Top Solid 7.